Hi, my name is Rob Briggs. I'm a VDI reference architect with the Microsoft Group at NetApp. I'd like to show you a demo of provisioning 2000 Citrix PVS VDI instances with a single PowerShell script. Briefly, to get into some of the benefits of using PowerShell and NetApp Storage as your backend, you can quickly and efficiently deploy thousands of VDI instances. In this scenario, where time becomes a premium, we're able to use NetApp Flex Clone technology to significantly reduce the time required to create and clone virtual disks across the environment. Previously, I created a video demo outlining the use of multiple PowerShell scripts to do much of what this single script is doing on its own. The end result was the same, however, the start to finish time was longer and it required admin intervention. The script can be run in a single instance to deploy against a single host or host group within SCVMM. However, it can also be run in parallel to dramatically reduce the time frame to roll out. There are a few house cleaning items to be taken care of before running the script, so make sure you refer to the documentation before you do your rollout. So now we're going to move on to the demo, and we'll start with the PVS server, uh, just to show you that there's nothing actually listed here under the collection or any connections. And then we'll move over to the VMM server. And again, just to show you that there's nothing actually listed here, no VMs that have been created, it's a completely blank environment. And here's a quick run through of the add PVS VM script. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to use a brief script to parallelize this, and here it is. And so we'll go ahead and start this script, and it'll prompt us for the credentials for the NetApp controller, and it'll begin to connect. And so we'll go ahead and bring up another script here that's going to present a timer that will allow us to go through this script uh, significantly faster than this rollout will actually take. Uh, but that you'll actually see uh, exactly how long this is going to take. And as you can see, the first VM is starting to be created in six seconds, and away we go off to the races. This is a very sped up view of the SCVMM job queue. And we're going to see that it's going to complete in about five hours. All 2000 VMs have been created, but they're not running at the moment. There is an option in the script to have them run once they're created, but it's not recommended as it causes load and will significantly increase the time to roll out. So we'll take this opportunity to use a little in-house script to start all 2000 PVS VDI instances and show you a demo that we affectionately at NetApp call the wall of fire. We'll just flip over from VMM, and ah yes, it's a blank screen. But you'll soon see that each one of these thumbnails represented on this black screen is an individual insight or picture of each VM and its state. We have a clock in the upper right hand corner, and as you can see, thousands of VMs are coming up. Thanks for humoring us with that. So we're back in the environment and we just wanted to go ahead and show you that all the VMs are created and running. We're on the PVS server now and we're going to go ahead and refresh everything to show you the connection count and the VMs in the collection in addition to the connections to the VDisk and the loads on the PVS servers. I hope this demo and presentation has been helpful for you. Please visit blogs.netapp.com slash msenviro for more information. Thank you.